guys, it's Kaylee. I am back with another thrift haul. Got a pretty exciting one today. I told you guys in several videos that I was going to do this. It is a death pile buyout from somebody that watches this channel that reached out and said, hey, I've got too much stuff. Do you want to buy it? And we said, uh, yeah, that would be awesome. So we actually met at a parking lot in like halfway point. I'm not going to tell you exactly where she's at, um, but we dug through everything in the parking lot. She left us with a ton of toads and we decided what we wanted to keep and what we were going to give back to her. That's a pricing, of course. If you guys are interested, she may still have some stuff left. I will pop her Instagram up here if you want to reach out to her. I know she has considered doing shipping in the past. So if you're somebody who's like, yeah, I need inventory and I'm willing to purchase some items, she may still have some left. Yes, she did say she was okay with me sharing her information here on the screen. All right, so we're going to dive into this haul. Oh yeah, I did want to address, I've got a mic. It's right here. So guys, I just feel like I can't win with the audio. Previously, I have been recording just on my phone, which is what I'm recording on now. And whenever I do thrift hauls, I walk back and forth close to the camera, away from the camera, and you guys can't hear me. So then I got a mic and you can hear me better but you don't like the way it sounds because you think it's too soft i'm still playing around with some settings but i can tell you i do think that it is better than before because no matter how far away i get from the screen you can still hear me i just feel like no matter what equipment i use no one's happy so I'm just going to keep using the mic and it is what it is. I'm sorry if it's a little bit soft, but I will try and raise the volume, increase it when I'm editing this video. But I do think that it blocks out a lot of sound. So sorry to those of you that it offends, but I've got a mic and we are sticking to it. All right. So she had a ton of stuff. I am going to start by like some of the hard goods and accessories, and then I will dive into the clothing or maybe I'll just kind of bounce around. Um, I'll probably break this up into multiple videos, but honestly, people just reach out to me because they know me through social media. I've had a lot of opportunities come out this way. And if you're somebody looking for those opportunities, then I'm not saying you have to be on YouTube, but just tell people what you do. You'll start to form a network of like-minded people. And he even here, just in my community, um, locally, I have made some posts online, like Facebook groups and stuff. And people have actually reached out to me from that, just saying, hey, I've got a bunch of stuff that I'm gonna have left over from a yard sale if you want it. So definitely worth just putting your name out there. You know, again, even if you're not gonna be on social media, just tell people what you do and opportunities like this will present themselves. I am pretty sure I paid $5 for almost everything. There were like, there was like one tote of stuff she was selling for $2, but Pretty much everything is $5, so just assume that it was $5. This is a Coldwater Creek women's wool, wool? Yeah, wool scarf. Um, I got this because it is a multicolor scarf and it's new with tags. This retails for $50, which to be honest, doesn't really mean much to me, um, but I actually saw this exact one had sold, I think for like $30 or $35. So I went ahead and got it. I have to go pretty quick on this. This is a Kashyyyk women's bra. Got this because it is a 50C. We do pretty well with bras. Um, that'll probably be like a $15 flip, but I think I only paid a couple bucks for that. This is an American Eagle women's halter top, size medium. This is a cute like rainbow bohemian crochet knit halter top mainly got it for style. We'll probably sell that for 20. Got some ties. This is a Salvatore Ferragamo tie. These men's ties do really well and I love the print on this. Um, I'm not actually sure what we'll sell this for. Maybe around 25 unless it's a rare print. Next up is a really gorgeous bag. This is Rebecca Minkoff which is a designer. There is a little scratch on that but otherwise She's in really great condition. Um, really nice, high quality leather bag. There's a little thing inside to shape it. But again, for the most part, in really excellent condition. It's this really beautiful mauve color. Um, I'm going to have to do some more research on this exact style. But Rebecca Minkoff is one of those that, in my opinion, doesn't have a super high sell-through rate. 
but the ones that do sell sell for quite a bit so i'll do a little bit more research this is another one of those cold water creek scarves same thing new with tags probably list this for around 30 to 35. Uh, this is a bag brand i've actually haven't heard of before it's lug and i did comps in it did really well so i was very happy with that there are a couple a couple of like really small spots on it but otherwise in pretty excellent condition but super high sell through rate with this i can't remember comps on this i just remember that it was a super high sell through rate but might be a brand that you want to look for it's pretty unassuming so if i didn't know the brand i probably would have passed on this um another kashik bra larger size i think that's the same style we'll sell that for about 20. this is a brand of bags i like picking up it's kavu outdoorsy kind of hippie bohemian bag this one's a smaller crossbody we'll probably list this for around 30 to 35. another kashik bra same thing this one's strapless this one should go for i don't know maybe the strapless ones are doing better but probably about 20. is a free people top this one's a size large and it's this cute little short sleeve leopard print flutter sleeve flutter sleeve no peasant sleeve top this will probably be another twenty dollar doing a terrible job of showing this this one might need to go on a mannequin i am struggling with this one but it's probably only going to be like 20 bucks but i think like i said i got that for two this is a dooney and burke bag this can be a really good brand to pick up this one's like a nylon-y material and this one is in excellent condition i need to do a little wipe right here but that should come right off and it is excellent condition on the inside um it does have that uh authenticity tag to show you on the inside um so i do believe that this is real and i will do a google lens on this to see how much we're going to sell it for but even still five bucks for a Dooney and burke bag definitely worth it this is a lululemon almost a pair of shorts this is a tank top um, I've been leaving behind a lot of Lululemon tank tops, but this one seemed like a more modern muscle tank. Um, has some mesh details. Unsure of the exact size right now. It looks like a size small around there, maybe like a four. Um, this should go for about 25, unless I do a Google lens and the style is more substantial. This is another bra. This is a Victoria's Secret larger size bra, 38 double D. More modern styling. It's probably a 20 to 25. LL Bean bag. This is a also a nylon-y kind of like hiking outdoorsy bag. This one is also in really excellent condition. Yeah, this one feels like it's hardly ever been worn. It's practically brand new on the inside. Can't remember exact comps on this, um, but should sell for at least 25. I like picking up LL Bean bags a lot. This is another LL Bean bag. It is a canvas uh, leather combo. Nice leather strap. Again, guys, LL Bean bags can perform really, really well, so keep your eye out for them. I will probably have to do a Google Lens search on this exact one, but should be, I would have to guess, like a $35 to $40 flip on this. Okay, this is one that Nikki grabbed, so I did not do the comp on this. It's called Adorned, and I'll pop a comp up here on the screen because I'm not sure if she just got this for style or if she if if it's like you know actually a really good brand. Seems like it might be a pretty good brand because it has um, etching of the brand name on the hardware, but it is a velvet-like crossbody bag with a contrast thick strap. This is pretty cute. So again, I'll pop a comp up here on the screen, but we paid five for this. And even if it's not a good brand, I just think it's a very cute style. This is a Betsy Johnson bag. And some of the Betsy Johnson bags that are more unique can do really well. I searched Betsy Johnson spider bags and saw that they had pretty good comps. So this one's in really great condition, Betsy Johnson. Kind of wish we were closer to Halloween. I mean, I, I always wish that because my birthday is close to Halloween. I'm a fall baby, um, and I just love the fall time of the year. But I also, the, the little emo kid in me just loves all the spooky things. But 
really, really cute. It even still has the, um, it's like brand new, basically. It's got the little label thing over the hardware. So this, to me, has never, ever been used. And um, we'll still list it pre-owned because I don't actually have tags. But I would say that this is new without tags. I'm um, very, very cute. I'll probably list that one for around 40 although I'll probably do another comp on it. This stuff, um, we got, I don't even know how long it's been, a week to two weeks back. Um, and you know, we already had a bunch of things listed at the office. So we're just now getting around to listing them. Um, but super happy to have all of this great inventory, but some of them I can't remember because it's been a while since I did the comp and we processed too many items. This is a Lauren Ralph Lauren belt. This is a really nice high quality leather belt. Um, I think it's a women's size medium. I have really good luck with Ralph Lauren and all of its lines in leather goods. So I got this probably 25 to 30. Um, I did not do a comp on this one, but this is a, a brand in handbags we get all the time that flips really well. It's Hobo International. This is a belt. I've never seen a belt by this brand, but we are going to try it out. Um, as I'm editing the video, I'll pop a comp up on the screen here. Um, just to see, but got it just because the leather handbags do so well, but I'm going to guess probably 25 on the belts. This is another belt by Lauren Ralph Lauren. And it's the exact same thing, size medium, um, but in black. Another Victoria's Secret bra, larger sizing. This one feels uh, practically brand new, never worn. This one actually might go for a little bit more just because I can tell it's a more modern style. This is the Very Sexy Push-Up in 36 Double D. Um, some of the Victoria's Secret bras, depending on what they are, if they're lace, what size they are, some of them can actually go for like $30, $40 pre-owned. So we'll definitely be looking that up. We're getting close to the bottom of the bags. This is a We The Free bag. Actually never found a Free People bag before. I guess that's not true. I found the like grocery market bag, but they're, they're worthless. But I do know that some of their bags can actually do pretty well. This is a really cute corduroy bag with some leather details. It's a super cute leather tote. Even if it only flips for 25, it's worth it for 25 bucks. Inside has a contrast floral. So that was a really cool find. I've got one more handbag and then we jump on over to shoes. So I think what I'll do is I will probably finish up with the hard goods, the handbags and the shoes, and then I'll do a separate video on the clothing. So stay tuned. This is the last handbag. This is by Coach. It's a newer label Coach. Very shiny. Um, this has all of the like key tags with it. Really ex excellent high quality condition. Um, really clean on the inside. Uh, with Coach bags, I usually just do a Google image search because it's pretty easy to find. But if not, I will look up this number here on Google and determine what this bag is, um, but usually I can sell coach bags for at least like $40 usually, sometimes a lot more if they're vintage. Okay, moving on to the shoes. I've got these dance goes. She took really good care of her stuff. Um, I think she told us she cleaned everything before she gave it to us, which like I love her for because I hate cleaning shoes. Um, these are really nice condition Mary Jane dance goes. I'll pick up this brand all day long, especially when they are super clean, comfort brand. Uh, I don't know on this style, but I guess probably at least 40 for those. And guys, these are all just guesses trying to remember, but I do feel like I'm pretty good at um, gauging about how much something will sell for just with the knowledge that I do have. Um, I got several of these. These are men's Kohan leather loafers. I won't go through every single one of them, but I did get a lot of Kohan penny loafers. Kohan shoes in the men's department performed pretty well for us. Yeah, there's um, another pair of those. These are also Kohan. And these are a pair of men's chukka boots. These have performed really well for us in the past. So I definitely wanted to pick these up. These are a really interesting nylon green color too. These are a pair of Fry loafers. Fry is a very high quality leather brand. 
I will say their stuff used to flip a lot faster. Um, not so much anymore. However, I did see that like spring trends flats were coming back in. So I was like, what a better brand to sell high quality leather flats in than Fry. So I will do a comp on those, but I thought those were a great pickup. Another pair of high quality leather. These are the brand Born. I'm probably going to stop picking up as much of this brand just because we are moving into warmer weather, but uh, born leather boots traditionally perform very well for me. And I think I might even be able to get like 40 bucks for these. Pair of Sanooks. This brand has a high sell through rate. They don't always sell for a ton, but they're usually a solid $25 flip at least. And I will use the words Y2K with this because of this uh, platform foamy heel. So a lot of those last year, that style. Pair of Tevas or Tevas. This brand does pretty good in like outdoor hiking wear and it retails for quite a bit. Um, these I'll probably list for at least $30. They're just a pair of hiking sandals. These guys, do you recognize the logo? So tell me if you guys would have gotten these. They are flats. They're honestly in pretty decent condition other than their slight discoloration all throughout the leather, but they're Tory Burch. They're flats. Those are super popular right now. They're leather. Like, come on. So I don't know what we're going to ask for these yet, but definitely a great pickup. And like I said, flats are super in. Tory Burch flats have a super high sell rate. And I picked up um, a pair recently of Tory Burch flats that were just like absolutely destroyed. And I looked up comps on ones that had flaws and they were still going for like $40 because I guess people pull these emblems often use them. So I don't know. I guess if you find them destroyed, still get them. But like I said, these are honestly in pretty decent condition other than slight discoloration throughout. But yeah, I don't know how to explain it. They they feel really nice, just some discoloration. Addins, um, I come across this brand pretty often, but I don't pick up a ton of it. I like picking up their Y2K stuff. But I had to get these because they are super long, like gladiator sandals. To be honest, guys, I didn't even look these up. I just thought they were really cool. So I got them and I figured they'd be a style worth getting. Um, some of the Steam Madden shoes are actually pretty rare. So, um, and they sell for good money and have a good sell rate. So whenever I see something kind of unique by Steve Madden, I usually look it up. And like I said, I just went ahead and got these, but I can pop a comp up here on the screen if they end up being anything super valuable. Otherwise, probably just 25. Here's another pair of flats. These actually were a new brand to me. Um, FS slash NY flats. If I remember correctly, these did not have 100% sell through rate, but the ones that we're selling, were selling for quite a bit. If I can remember correctly, we were gonna list these for about 40 or $50. So it might be one that you wanna keep your eye out for as long as you're willing to either A, price lower to get to move faster, or B, price where everyone else is at and sit on them for a little while. So I'm gonna finish up with, these are a pair of cowboy boots. Now I almost left these behind, but the quality of leather, and they're in really great condition, I could not say no. Look at that. I love selling Western cowboy boots. I do really well with them. Um, these are just Old West, which is not typically a very high sell through rate or um, high dollar amount brand for resale. But again, some of these were going for a lot. And this one in particular is in such great condition. Super high boot has a little bit of embroidery, a neutral color. Those are all things that I think are going to pull the sale through. Can't remember how much I thought I was going to list this for maybe like 35 to 40. All right, you guys. So that is it for today's thrift haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. I'm going to stop the video here and jump on over to all of this clothing. So if you guys want to stay tuned as to what I picked up in essentially a buyout wholesale, whatever you guys want to call it, um, from another reseller's death pile, then make sure you are subscribed down below. Hit the notification bell. That way you see when that video goes live. Thank you so much to the reseller who we bought these from. Um, again, I will pop her uh, information up in case you guys want to reach out to her. Thing that she reaches out to me again because I know she has some more stuff that she's looking to get rid of. And man, this stuff was so great. Like I can't even imagine what else she might have in store. Super great items. Super happy. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up on your way out. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.